Hey guys, in this video you're going to see how to run headless tests with Python, Chrome on Ubuntu. Uh, here you can see the versions and the technologies that we are using in this example here. So we have Ubuntu 18, we have uh, the latest Chrome driver, 41, Python 3.7 and this uh, version of Selenium. We have three steps, installing Selenium module, then ensuring Chrome and Chrome driver and finally running the test, which is uh, these few lines of code. Uh, before to show you the example, I wanted to share a really fun fact about uh, creator of Python, Guido Van Rossum. He shared that uh, he was looking for a hobby around Christmas, uh, he wanted to do something for uh, several weeks to be occupied during Christmas because he has a computer on his hands and some free time. So my question for you is what you're going to do if you have computer, free time and several weeks around Christmas or any other time of the year. So maybe you're going to do a funny language like Python or something else, please do share in comments below. And let's go back to our example with Selenium headless mod. So first we need to install module Selenium. Uh, this can be done in this way by running pip install and Selenium. And once you run this in your environment, you have this requirement and you can use uh, this import here, which is important for our tests. Once you have this, you need to ensure that you have Chrome installed on your operating system. So you can check these two links in order to install Chrome on Ubuntu and then you need to get the latest uh, Chrome driver, you can visit this page. Here you can see the change log and the latest version. Mm, you can download it by clicking on this link and you need to get Chrome driver Linux. Uh, once you download this link here, you need to extract the link and use these paths in your program. And finally you can copy paste this piece of code. I will share all the links in the description below so you can use them. And this is pretty similar example. Uh, here we have uh, up to here it's the same program just we are loading YouTube instead of Google and we are printing uh, the title. And the other difference is that this test is uh, in normal mode. So let's see the test. Uh, here we are opening the browser. As you can see, I will shrink a bit to see the code. We are loading YouTube with this line of code. Then we are finding... Uh, so here the element is not visible because I shrink the window. So I will repeat the test with a bigger screen. This was uh, my mistake, so sorry. I want to show you the code. Okay, so here we are opening uh, the site YouTube. We are entering a search value here and finally we are pressing this key for the search and we will print the new title of this page which is Guido Van Rossum YouTube. And my advice to you is first to run your tests in a normal mode, see exactly what is happening with the page and then run them in a headless mode when everything is ok. So in order to run the same test in headless mode you need to add this line here, Chrome options, add argument, headless. And the same test is going to be run without graphical interface, so no browser is going to be open. And this uh, headless mode is very useful when you don't have a graphical user interface. For example, you're using uh, Ubuntu server. 
because there you don't have uh, any graphical interface or when you want to have uh, speed and good performance and this is very the best use case for headless tests at least for me if you want to uh, find which element you need to uh, open for example uh, how to find this element you can use a catalon which is the uh, next uh, um, selenium midday for 2018 let's say i will show you uh, what is uh, catalon studio it's just extension it's a really simple one you can uh, do a, a sequence of actions in your browser record them and finally export them as a script which is uh, saving a lot of time for your uh, tests and once you install it you can create um, more complex tests with uh, selenium mm, here you can see also a small use case for a uh, catalon or selenium how to locate any element from text so this was uh, the video about headless mods i hope that you enjoyed if you have any questions or uh, ideas for uh, videos please do share them in the comment section below and if you like the channel please do subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time